Judy with Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video, my yarn adventures from Down Under. So this week I've managed to achieve quite a bit. I joined in the Bag O' Day Seven Hats in seven days. I didn't achieve it in seven days because I'm time poor sometimes and some nights I've come home from work and just haven't felt like doing anything than other going to bed and sleeping. Why is it when I video I get hiccups? Excuse me a moment. Must be a nervous thing. Anyway, seven hats in seven days. First hat I made in blue was this one. I really like these. It's really thick and chunky and warm. Um, I didn't keep the ball band for that. That is Lion Brown's Heartland. My favourite out of all of them, I'm not sure if they're in order. This is number two, I think. I love this. My hubby rings, it looks pretty decent on me because I don't rock a hat. And I'm going to keep this one. It's really soft. This is in the USA style. I did have a ball band. Um, USA style. It's a spotlight yarn for those guys and girls in New Zealand. Um, it's a four way and the color is sky instead of numbers they're starting to put names on them because we've all said you know it might be nice so yeah it's a marvel it's really only available here but it's very similar to red heart super saver and i believe it's very similar to aishan's saver so that was number two number three i really like this pattern but it doesn't look good on me and this was um, premier everyday yarn in the DK weight um, this is yarn that was sent to me by Janet Lupre she sent me a couple of balls I made a divine hat my first divine hat in this color and the color is wild blue premier yarn number three number four I really like this pattern but my hubby rings when I wear it I look like an old lady it's really nice it's a bobble stitch which of course it's hard on my hands but I did enjoy it. it wasn't very long and I made this for you girls in Australia and New Zealand spotlights Marvel, Marvel denim effects 12 ply no I do not recommend this yarn it split really badly next to lime brown scarfy this would be the second worst yarn I have ever used it split shocking I would never use it again and unfortunately I have two balls in pink in my stash I don't know what it knits like but as far as crochet goes it gets the flick it's terrible number four um, she made it a little easier on us we just did a straight one no I didn't color you saw it then I think color control it I just let it go this was premieres sweet roll i bought this color to um check to see if it was right for a project and it wasn't i only bought one ball to check it out um and it is color color blueberry swell and it was a sweet roll it's a lovely yarn i love sweet rolls they're really nice too uh, even the ones you eat i then skipped number six because i didn't have two blue contrasting yarns that would work and made number seven just discovered I haven't sewn the ends in I love this I love this pattern I'm sorry it's in navy it's in Vanna's choice I've had this yarn for about three years sitting in my stash navy lion brands Vanna's choice um, I love this pattern and yes I will sew that end in so yesterday I finished number six I gave up trying to find four weight two colors of blue at a reasonable price in cans on Friday um, I thought forget it I'm just going to use what's in my stash I did have some spotlight USA style yarn in pink and cream but in my haste to do it I didn't realize so I got about here that I'd used a really small hook so I now have a small child's hat for number six in pink and cream not navy so that was my seven hats in bit more than seven days and I really enjoyed doing this so thank you Crystal at Bag O Day because I learned some new skills I learned how to do this 
which I think would be awesome for a tea cozy. I learned how to do herringbone. So yeah, I think it's sometimes really great to join in a make along or a cow because you can actually learn new, some new skills and test yourself. Now, I am not sending these hats to Lion Brand. One, um, the freight can be expensive, but that's not the issue. I ordered some Hirschner's yarn and as of Saturday, it is six weeks and I still don't have it and there's no sign of it. So God knows how long these would take to get there. And I always said I would donate them to some charity. During the week on Facebook, especially my family Facebook, my niece Heather, her little girl Lily, posted what she wants to do. Lily has this, she's about five or six, I can't remember. She really loves helping the homeless. She goes to these places with her parents and helps out and they do stuff for the homeless and she lives in Western Australia and it gets really cold and she started writing these little letters to her neighbours asking them to donate winter clothing that she can give to the homeless and she walked around with her dad and put them in everybody's letterbox in the street. So I guess Lily's what you call my grandniece. So I contacted Heather and said, would you like some hats? Or would Lily like some hats? And she said she'd be over the moon. So I am going to send her some of these. I didn't want to send all blue. I've been through my stash. I'm going to send her seven hats, but I'm going to give her some different colors. So about four of these will go to Lily and then I'll pick three in different colors, all for adults, for the homeless and I'm going to mail them to Western Australia for her. Isn't it sweet that at that age they're noticing, and I did notice when I went home to Perth a couple of years ago, there are a lot of homeless people in Perth compared to where I live. So where are my notes? Sorry, guys. Um, the other thing I like to get involved in is yarn bingo, and I haven't for a few months. Lama Ma Michaela's yarn bingo and I um, decided I'm going to make an effort to at least complete one row of yarn bingo this month and I was watching Debbie the Canadian crocheter and she was making she'd made these flower showers or shower flowers and they were awesome and the beauty of it is I can whip one up in my lunch hour at work because I've been making myself take my lunch hour and sit and chill to help with my mental health. So I followed the tutorial and now I can't remember who it is. So I'll put a link to this tutorial in below because I highly recommend shower flowers. This was the first one I made in sugar and creams, 100% uh, cotton. I bought it from the local craft store and I've thrown away the ball band, so I can't tell you the colour. But it's in like oranges and, well, it's more pinks, but it was like the colours of my bathroom. And the thing is, it has a little thing to hook them on your finger or hang them up. Shower flowers. This is awesome. And I can make one of these in my lunch hour because I finished off almost the ball the next day. But I wing this one without the pattern. So they, each individual, they turn out a little different without the tutorial. So yeah, I made two in that. And then the third day, because they're addictive, I'm thinking, could I make it bigger? Could I, because that's four weight cotton. Could I make it three weight, 100% cotton from Linkra? And I have heaps of orange and I made a bigger one. These are really addictive. Really easy, great way to chill in my lunch hour. So I've made three shower flowers, which I'll probably put up in Yarn Bingo. And I thought, what a great gift for Christmas with a bar of soap. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Deb, for sharing that. It was awesome. I finished my lovey, you know, Z's lovey, and it is a pig. My son said, how can you not tell that's a pig? There you go. This is made in Spotlights, um, USA style yarn, lovely and soft, two pinks. Why am I using a lot of this yarn? Because recently they had 50% off. It's normally $8 ball and it's a big 200 gram 
um, ball and we were getting it for four dollars so I went a little nuts but it's great yarn since they've improved it so that was the stuff I have made this week um, acquisition wise I talked about getting my um, sugar and cream from my local small craft store who I was supporting and I'm still supporting because they're doing it tough and I went in there because he let me know he'd finally got some big decent quality crochet hooks in and I went across to get a nine millimeter clover he sells them at a great price if I had this shipped up online it would cost me more than it cost me to walk across the road from work and buy it and I got one off him because last year I bought a hat pattern that needs a nine millimeter and I could only get a cheap one and when I tried to do it it was just shocking so I'm hoping with a quality 9mm hook like Clover, I'll do a better job. But while I was there and paying for it, on the counter was this. Handmade bowl cosy. Now look, it's horses. My family are horsey, but I'm not. But it's oranges and browns, which is great for my kitchen. It's 100% cotton, even with the padding lined as cotton. Because the lady who made it was there. She teaches sewing at this little craft store and she's been making them and selling them. And I thought it was a bargain. She's selling these for $10. Isn't that great? I may buy some more. She only had about three on the counter. But I said to her, these are my kitchen colours. And yeah, if she makes more, at $10, i am going to buy more. A great bowl cosy which got me thinking about making a crochet bowl cosy and seeing the difference so that was an acquisition so I have been working on my 80s kids project I originally showed you all the yarn I bought for this thing I was going to make and said no I wasn't going to make that anymore because it required a lot of detail sewing on the front that's what it was a jumper ice cream soda but I didn't realize a lot of the pink the white had to be hand sewn and I'm not that great I thought it would be all knitted in I was rushing but that's what it was but I'm not making that I started something else which brings me to why I had to get another acquisition this is my favorite little project bag to take everywhere with me and it has four eyelet holes and this is my 80s kids pattern in there at the moment I'm knitting with six balls of yarn it is a bit of a mess but it is progressing and I love that bag and I had a $10 birthday voucher from Linkcraft where you get those so I went and bought another one in purple that's why it's great when you're doing multiple balls of yarn because you can feed them through they do still get tangled but not as bad as if you were doing them individually I haven't come up with a better way but I bought another one and used my $10 voucher. So that was my acquisitions for the um, week. I nearly said month. I actually bought some yarn online. I'll show you when that comes. I was sitting here bored the other night and thought, hmm, might get that. So that was my 80s kids pattern. Um, underway I'll show you closer or when it's finished the pattern and the story behind the pattern because there is a bit of a story the other thing about make-alongs like making the seven hats doing the 80s kids mail I love them because I always find something new or challenging like I learned how to do herringbone stitch I improved my puff stitch I learned how to do the mosaic stitch with the hats and the 70s pattern while well, I'm improving my knitting graft skills. So the next one I'm contemplating joining and I think that Sunday here the 24th and I think the 20th is tomorrow here and it's supposed to start on April the 25th is the Fudget Shawl Mal with Debbie and J Hook Creations. Now I don't know if I have the skills to do a shawl without some sort of guidance or pattern in mind or tutorial especially but I'm thinking of giving it a go 
I like the idea of this shawl that can turn into a poncho with a button and I wouldn't mind making another one. So my question to you, and you can leave your comments and answers in the description below to help me out is, it's a fudget shawl. So here it's winter. It won't be winter very long, but I have this, which is the same as those, Karen cakes. I have two, oh, well, my, almost two balls of this Rocky Road colours. Do I do it in this? Or it's like spring, summer up in the Northern Hemisphere. And I've never used landscapes. And I have this, what colour is this called? Metropolis colour, black and greys. And then I have the plain um, silver. I have about four balls of this. And this takes a 6.5 millimetre hook. I've never used this. Do I do my fudget shawl in this or do I do it in this? I'm leaning towards the Karen Cates because I've used them before. And I'm not sure... I'll ever finish it because it requires a bit of skill just to, what do you call it, free crochet. But, yeah, let me know what you think I should do it in. Landscapes or a Karen Cakes, Rocky Road or Black Greys and Silvers. I'm not sure that will be enough to do this size. But anyway, that's a mal uh, make-along I'm going to try. If I do a finished project, you'll get to see it. But I'm going to give it a go. I haven't had a lot of time. I am time poor to watch a lot of videos. So if you haven't seen me comment, don't think I'm ignoring your videos or I've forgotten you. I have played catch up on people's channels who needs watch time. Um, and I have found a new channel. She made a comment on my video and I went to check her out. And she's from down under. I'm on the East Coast, she's on the West Coast. Now, the name of the channel is Colours of the Outback. Her name is Mel and she lives in Rockingham where my husband's parents used to live when they were alive. So there you have it. She has seven subscribers, guys. She's put out three videos. One's an introductory video on the things she does and she's far more talented than me, rest assured. So please... I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description below. Please check her out. We need more crafters doing podcasts from down under. Having said that, and I'd lost track of this one for a while. Um, you know what YouTube's like, suddenly notifications stop. I was still subscribed and suddenly it popped up and I went, oh, Michelle's Macri from down under across the ditch in New Zealand. Yes. She's been going a while, and last time I watched one of her videos, she had 153 subscribers. She makes awesome stuff. Um, one of her videos I managed to catch up with last week, maybe early this week, she had all these scrap different shaped squares, and she had done the Terry from um, Yarn Joy Terry's blanket where you put the different size and shape scraps together, and it looked awesome. So please... Check out Michelle's Makery across the ditch in New Zealand. You'll love her accent. So there's two channels for you to check out with really low subscriber numbers. You're going to love Mel from Rockingham. She's so sweet. Colours of the Outback, Michelle's Makery. Can't say it enough. Um, my week in summary, um, a bit mentally stressful, not just work. My car was booked into a service. I've having, had a few little issues with electronic ignition and I called, oh well, guess what we call here? I did my Nana on Thursday. Um, it's not so much the guys that fix it, it's the admin guy who checks in and out and tells them what's wrong with it. He, uh, For want of a better word, he's a little emperor running an empire and in the end I said to him, I did my nana. I said, because I'm not a mushroom and I don't appreciate being fed bullshit, which is what he did, because it's still not fixed and has to go back in Tuesday. And I've said about that. 
on the same day, I was stopped in the street by someone who five years ago gave me extreme mental health issues that I had, was sent to a psychologist to talk about them and get over them. He jumped out in front of me and asked me to go for coffee and I thought I would freak and just go to pieces, but I didn't. Um, I just you know, was polite and wished him well and no and went on my way. I guess the proof is in the pudding. I was never a big believer in psychiatry and psychology and therapy, but I must say what they did for me back then worked. It really worked because I didn't get anxious. I didn't get angry. I didn't want to flee, like they say, fear or flight. I just was polite and walked away. So, yeah, if you're having some mental health issues, talk to someone, anyone. Believe me, it helps when it's a stranger and not a family member or a friend because you're more free and open. And it helps when they're a professional because it's confidential. But there you have it. I'm still in May having happy thoughts. No matter what happens, I am having happy thoughts, even if I do do my nana. So, guys, I hope you are staying well. Take care of each other and make sure you take time to have one crafty day. Bye for now.